Very exciting video today for a few separate reasons. Number one, it is Spider-Man No Way Home news, which is always the most exciting. Number two, it's actually a very cool bit of information about how Spider-Man is going to be getting his black and gold suit. And it isn't in the way you might have thought. And third, it's very exciting because this comes from our very own Cosmic Wonder who had an exclusive scoop and he shared it out with all of us to get us even more excited for the second trailer as we near the release date. So let's dive into the details and the evidences behind how Spider-Man, Peter Parker's Spider-Man, gets his black and gold suit in Spider-Man No Way Home right now. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm Chris, and another reminder that we are currently giving away this awesome Spider-Man collectible. All you need to do to enter is subscribe to this channel, Cosmic Culture, and also go and subscribe to the Cosmic Wonders channel. We are very grateful for the community we're building. We just had 35,000 on this channel, and I couldn't be more grateful to all of you for making that a possibility. Now, let's talk some Spider-Man No Way Home news. Now, the rumor is that Spider-Man will be getting his black and gold suit in the new movie, but it comes to him in a little bit of a peculiar way. Now, the black and gold suit itself is not really a rumor anymore. One, we've seen it in the trailers. Two, we've seen toys, Lego leaks, and several other concept arts that have released showing that this is going to be a suit he's wearing, including merchandise, shirts, toys, it's all over the place. So this outfit, this suit of Spider-Man's, 100% confirmed is going to be happening. But this is how he's going to be originally getting the black suit, according to the Cosmic Wonder and his sources. For starters, he starts by talking about an important scene that will be happening early on in the movie, and it is about Spider-Man and a bank robber. Now the bank robber, we already know who he's going to be, is going to be Harry Holland, who is Tom Holland's brother, and Tom Holland confirmed this a long time ago, and we even saw an image of this on Tom Holland's Instagram. So again, this is stuff we're all very aware of. However, throughout this scene, we are going to find out and we're going to see in the streets a huge divide between the people. We're going to see people who are supporting Spider-Man and people who are supporting Mysterio. Now, in this specific scene, which happens right after the post credit scene for Spider-Man Far From Home, where Peter Parker was outed to be Spider-Man, there's going to be this bank robber or mugger who will be played by Tom Holland's brother, Harry. Now he's going to web him up, but in this divide that we see, the Mysterio fans are going to start mocking and attacking Spider-Man. One in particular is going to run up to him and throw a bucket of green paint on Spider-Man's suit. This is the same black and red suit that we saw in Far From Home, just like I outlined at the very end in the post credit scene. The paint starts to stain his suit permanently, so he's not able to get the paint out, and this is going to be the cause of Peter Parker turning his Spider-Man suit inside out, which will reveal a gold and black pattern on the inside of the red and black suit. Now, it's a very interesting idea, but bear with me. If you compare the black and red suit to the new black and gold suit, you can tell that they do line up perfectly. They match in design and threading, and even the little spider logo in the very middle of Spider-Man's suit almost seems like a perfect inverse of the logo on the other end. The threading on the inside of the black and gold suit outlines where the black threads are on the black and red suit. So it actually does show a very interesting reverse pattern that we see in not only the logo, but in the stripes that are also making the webbing on the suit. So it definitely has a lot of merit, especially based off of the exact copying of the design from one suit to the other. Now, before you tell me that this is absolutely crazy and there's no way that this is the way they've decided to give Spider-Man a new suit, just hold on. There is a Spider-Man No Way Home Halloween costume, and it says this on it, reversible, as seen in the movie. That's a little bit crazy. And the other side, the inside of this suit is the black and gold outfit. And you can clearly see on the packaging here to the right that this is the black and red suit that he's wearing. And then it turns into the black and gold suit that he will be wearing that we've seen in multiple different instances throughout the marketing for Spider-Man No Way Home. 
So if you had any doubts at the plausibility of this being how Tom Holland's getting his new black and gold suit, well, this really should push you over the head as it is very compelling evidence that there is a reversible suit as seen in the movie. Now there is this concept art for a t-shirt that shows that this black suit has some type of magic abilities and there is a question about whether or not Doctor Strange may help him upgrade the suit later on in the film. And if that's the case, the simple answer here is yes, he does help him upgrade it and the suit that he's wearing is this black and gold suit because the inside of it, the black and red suit, is covered in paint. So when Doctor Strange goes to help out Peter by throwing a little bit of magic on his Spidey suit, it's the black and gold suit because that's the one he's wearing. It's actually a pretty cool idea. One, we get to see Peter Parker kind of being bombarded by people who are Team Mysterio. And I think it's very interesting to see as he's literally there trying to stop somebody from getting mugged or from robbing a bank, that they're still there denying that he's a superhero, that he killed Mysterio and Mysterio was going to be the savior of the world. He came from a different universe to protect us all. And it's very interesting leading from there to now there's these multiversal villains showing up who will also be causing a lot of damage and no doubt trying to ruin Peter's reputation even further. Now, I think there can be some more questions about why is it that we later see Peter Parker wearing his iron spider suit on the bridge when he's encountering Doc Ock for the first time or what seems to be the first time. It's very possible that he left the suit with Doctor Strange to get those upgrades and the Iron Spider suit is the one he has next available. And then later on in the film, he will get this black suit, which is the reversible version of his red and black suit, and it will have some magic upgrades. The other possibility, which Marvel is very, very well known for, is they're trolling us with this outfit that he's wearing. The Iron Spider suit is not the one he'll be wearing in the actual movie. And they actually did this to us in the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer, where they swapped out the suit that he wore in this scene from the trailer, and he actually was wearing a different one in the movie. So it's also very possible that that entire scene we've seen now on Empire Magazine and in the trailer where he's wearing the Iron Spider suit is just one big huge troll coming from Sony and Disney to kind of throw us off a little, put us off, and make us try to figure out what's going on with all of these different suits we're seeing. But again, we 100% saw this suit probably twice in the trailer, in this scene where he's running through this cafeteria, and again in this scene very briefly where we see Electro and Sandman, and maybe even Green Goblin somewhere in this scene, we see there as well Spider-Man is wearing that black suit. And although we don't get a good look at it, this is very clearly Spider-Man and very clearly a black suit. So this suit's going to be very involved. I do believe we're going to see some magical upgrades based off of the concept art and the merchandise that we have seen leaked. So very, very interesting. And personally, I do find it kind of ironic and comical that this brand new suit we've been raving about and super excited to see actually comes to us from somebody just throwing paint on his actual suit and him simply turning it inside out. It was smart of him to make a reversible suit because this is the same suit he made in Tony Stark's jet and maybe he honestly had the foresight to make it reversible in case he ever needed a different side because it got dirty or ruined or paint was thrown on it by a Mysterio fanboy. Anyway, this is a really cool leak and it's even more exciting that like I said, it's come from our very own Warren Thompson from the Cosmic Wonder. Super excited for him. And for this community, we are continuing to grow. Thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the Cosmic Wonder channel for your chance to win this awesome Spider-Man collectible. We'll be picking a winner at the end of the month, so good luck. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, and I'll see you in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.